In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you Evernote's little helper. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you Evernote's little helper that I realize many people doesn't even know it exists. So basically what is Evernote's little helper? Well Evernote's little helper is a little menu bar item that you can get to come up on your screen in whatever screen you're in and you can quickly capture a note, an idea, you can even take a screenshot, you can add an audio note, you can add a lot of things. And it's one of those little things that I use every single day that I often forget that it's actually even there. And I realized the other day that I don't think I've ever covered Evernote's little helper in any of the episodes that I've done so far on Evernote, and yet it's something I use every single day. And even more good news is this is available both on Mac and Windows, although I don't know how to set it up on Windows, but I do know how to find out how to set it up on Windows, and that link is in the show notes below. Okay, now before we go any further with this episode, I would just like to ask if you do like this video, please click on that like button below, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Evernote and I will show you Evernote's little helper. Okay, so what I like to be doing is when I'm doing my writing work or any kind of work that needs focus, I usually go into full screen. So here I am with my Ulysses application open. I like to, in fact, I'm not a big fan of dark mode and I don't use it in most of my applications, but for some reason, when it comes to writing like this, I just like the dark background and the, and the white letters. And I, I suppose it just puts me in complete focus mode. So I go into focus mode and I'm where, working away. And I actually have this, uh, these little helpers set up on two of my applications. The first is Todoist, and now the way I remember this is uh, Shift Command and Add. So Shift Command A would allow me to quickly bring up the Todoist quick entry box, and I can say this is a new task and hit return. I never have to leave my screen that I'm in so I can continue working with Ulysses and I know that I'm supposed to be focused on my writing work but the reality is ideas do come to me all the time and so I'm grabbing those uh, those ideas and tasks when they come. Now Evernote has something similar. It doesn't work exactly the same of course but it is similar. For me all I have to do when I have an idea that I want to capture and send into Evernote is Shift Command E and it brings up my Evernote quick helper. And all I have to do is this is an idea. That will create the title and I'm going to say uh, I, uh, I would like to create a new course uh, on onboarding for COD, for example. Once I hit return, uh, it will come down as a paragraph. I hit command return, it's going to go straight to my Evernote. You'll probably notice that there's a little thing that's just clicking there on my Evernote to say that that's been in. So that's how the quick helper works. So you can be focused on your work and then you can move in to just quickly capture ideas without lose, leaving the screen. Now, as you can see, this has now come in and I've got, this is an idea. Now, for some reason, I, Evernote's always done this, one of those little quirks, I can just remove that and I can just create my, <clears throat> you know, correct anything because I was rushing to do that. So how do you set that up? Well, the first thing is we go into preferences. Now, I did check this before I started recording and you can do this in Windows as well. Windows does have a, he a helper. There is a, <clears throat> A help guide on the Evernote website which I will put a link to in the show notes so if you're a Windows user just head into the show notes and you will find the link that will show you how to set this up on Windows I'm obviously using a Mac now the bit that you really want is down here Evernote helper it's called the Evernote helper it's not called the clipper the clipper is slightly different <clears throat> now I have it set up to show Evernote helper in the menu bar and I'll show you what I mean by that if you go up here there it is there's the Evernote helper click on that and I can add and 
to notes. It's just an Evernote logo. Obviously, keyboard shortcuts are much faster. Keep Evernote Helper running in the background when I quit Evernote. Now, to me, this is really important because although 90% of the time when I'm working at my computer, Evernote is going to be open, it's not always open. And so I don't want to suddenly find, oh, I haven't done this. When an idea strikes me, I just want to hit Shift Command E and bang, that's going to go straight into Evernote and start the Evernote helper when I log into my computer. Again, this is just means that as soon as my computer starts, it's going to open up. Now, there is one thing else that you need to do. You need to go to your keyboard shortcuts and you need <coughs> you need to find this is for the quick note. So shift command E, as you can see, I've got it set up. New note window. That's for when you are actually in Evernote. Paste to Evernote. You know, I've got all sorts of little things here. Click full screen. I haven't got that. And search in Evernote, Shift Command E. But this is the one, the quick note. You want to set that up. Something that is really easy to memorize. So for me, it's Shift Command E just because I use Shift Command for all my quick entry stuff. And E just tells me it's Evernote. But you need to set that up. So the way that you do this is we go into general. Hang on, we don't go in. Yes, we go into general, sorry. Evernote helper and it, you turn on these. You don't have to have it working all the time if you don't want. I prefer it that way. Once you've done that, go to your keyboard shortcuts and set that up and whatever. It's the quick note that you want to do. And like I say, for Windows users, you do have this functionality too. And I will put a link to the Windows uh, link where you can figure out how to do it because I'm not familiar with the Windows operating system. So there you go. One of those wonderful little useful things that you can use with Evernote. I find it so useful and I must use it several times a, a, a day particularly when I'm in my focus view and I'm working on some writing or I'm working on uh, planning something, I will use this feature a lot. Okay, I hopefully you found this useful. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.